them to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Number 22, back deep to return. He'll return it from the one. Tries to get around the corner. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Makes it to the 41. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. From the 41-yard line, first down. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Get him in the backfield for a loss. That was well defended by this defense. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. It's third and 10. Ball on the 41. Here's the throw to the fullback, and he tackles him hard at the 32. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. He gets out to about the 11-yard line. And they come up big on fourth down. Gutsy call here on the option. He had a good help up front by the offensive line. He's able to bust through there for a heck of a game. From the 11-yard line, it's first down. The fullback showing some good skills there on the option. He got five. That brings up second and five. Larry, Larry, Larry! Mike 22, he's coming, 22 is coming, Mike, Mike! Give me that ball! Down! Hot down! Set up! And down he goes, right around the six yard line. It's third and five. Ball on the six. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at the one-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. It's the ninth play of the drive. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Touchdown, Tech! This back is hard to stop in short yard situations. He has such great power, he easily takes it in for a touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice nine play, 53 yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. This one's gonna be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. the 38-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 38. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's at midfield, and no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. They got a little sloppy here with their ball handling. It's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, the defense could have pounced on that football. Taken down right around the 32 yard line. Called a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He makes his way to about the 22. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Florida State. He is such a talented, skillful back, as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. A nice five-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. They get nice yardage on that run. That brings up second and five. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Seven or eight yards on the option. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Tackle made at the 42. They make the stop at the 41. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 41. He's tackled at the 46. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a game of six on the play. That brings up second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 40. Tackle at the 40 yard line. We're at 
Play number nine of this current drive. Scrambling around. He dives and he'll be marked down. First and 10, ball on the 33. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He takes it right side for a good game. This is the 11th play of this drive. The Yellow Jackets had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. 22 by 22. Brought down around the nine yard line. First down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. He makes the PAT. Georgia Tech gets set to kick this one away. Excellent kick. Gets out to about the 21. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's taken down at the 44. That's good for a game of 23 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 44-yard line, first down. He's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Got it and brought down immediately. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Georgia Tech is up seven. He plows ahead for about a yard on the option. Georgia Tech's going to use their first time out of the half here. About two minutes before halftime. And they got him for a loss. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Florida State's going to take their first time out of the half. Uh, 
And now he pitches it. Good outside run there. Florida State will take their second time out of the half. And they're coming after this punter. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's on the run, and down he goes. Right around the 44-yard line. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's knocked out of bounds. Around the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line, first down. He tries to buy some time. Dives for extra yardage. And he's tackled right around the 18 yard line. Number 28 brings him down at the 18 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. is up and they tack on three points with only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime I would expect they'll just squib kick this one fielded at the four across the 30 he goes out of bounds at the 42 yard line so at the end of the half the Yellow Jackets lead 14-10. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job while trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So. You know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, great, not to give away any turnovers. That's going to do it at halftime, just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, brother. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, look, wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half.
great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he carries the ball for a nice game. six yards. That'll make it second and They're about four yards away here on second down. Now he's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. First down. Taken down around the 44-yard line. Number 15 on the tackle at the 44-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Nice run, and he's brought down. First down. Fires out to his receiver, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. No gain on the play. That brings up second and nine. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 44-yard line. Game seven on the play. Third down. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. Caught, open field. He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. It's the ninth play of the drive. Steps out of bounds at the 24. Gain of five on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 24-yard line, second down. And he throws it away. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. He's out of bounds at the 21. Gain of three yards. That brings up fourth and three. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Florida State to kick. He'll return it from the one. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Georgia Tech with a one-point lead. Makes it out to about the 33. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 33. He's got an opening. He's at midfield. 
He finally goes down at the 36. They'll get him for a loss, so the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 37-yard line. Lateral's back. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That brings up third and ten. Larry, Larry. He's out. Like 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Here comes the pressure. And he's tackled right away. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. So they're going to go for it here. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Georgia Tech up a point. They make the stop around the 22-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second. And, and this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. That's 22 by 22. Get up. Yeah. Up, up, up. Lateral's back, and he's got space. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. So at the end of three, Georgia Tech leads 14-13. Welcome back to the action, fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game. And every possession is going to count from here on out. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Again with a carry. Tackle at the 28. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Gain of two yards. That'll make it third and five. Scrambling around. Runs with it, and he's got room. Brought down at about the 41. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. He's 
taken down at the 39-yard line. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Now they're faced with another third and long as they try to convert and move those chains again. Quick throw, picked off. And down he goes at the 39. Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. Just under three to go in regulation. Tries to get around the corner. He's at the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line, first down. They get nice yardage on that run. The fullback showing some good skills there on the option. He got five. That brings up second and five. Tight end left, tight end left. Go down, go down. March 22, March 22. Set. Blue 14. Blue 14. Cut. Cut. Game. The Seminoles will use their first time out of the half. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 12. Tackled after a decent pickup. Florida State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And certainly did their job. They've extended their lead here in the fourth quarter, and now they look at their defensive counterparts and say, hey guys, it's your turn. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 38-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So our score... 24-13. Brought down at the 17-yard line. Now here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Throws incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. Second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 17. Just under two minutes in the game. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Yeah. 
Halfback's got it on the quick throw. So a fourth down stop there late in the fourth quarter, and that should do it. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense just wasn't able to make a play. The defense was really clutch right there. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Nice run there. The Seminoles using their third and last timeout. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Good outside run there. The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. And it really comes down to the defensive lineman holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game. So that's going to do it. The Yellow Jackets get the victory. 24-13. The Seminoles, 13. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.